Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you for another full self-driving 12.3.1 video. So we are headed to my parents' house early morning. We fortunately are not taking my car up to Michigan. We are taking a rental van. Um, actually, we're actually going up to West Virginia um, to, if you've heard of the Fiesta Wear dishes, my mom resells those, and so we're going up to the factory to go get some. The very tip top be can't go any further north from West Virginia, New Old West Virginia, that's where we're headed. And then we're headed up to Michigan from there. But um, we're gonna see, this is test drought one, the first test drought I've ever done. We are gonna see how it does. But yeah, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day whenever you're watching this. I'll probably edit this once I'm up in Michigan, it'll probably be later this week. We might have 12.3.2 out. Uh, if you've seen any videos on that, it looks like Auto Park is included, uh, and it's looking pretty good so far. As you can see, wow, we have some massive fog. Right in this area is always a lot of fog. Interested is that as you go, oh no, I went past the 45, that's why it's coming up in speed. But, so someone commented, actually several people, like three or four people commented, why did I complain that it went up to 45 right here? It's because if it's going 38 mile an hour and it passes the 45 sign, but it's immediately gonna have to slow back down to get onto the highway. As a passenger, that's uncomfortable. It's not super uncomfortable, it's not unreasonable, but it's uncomfortable. This is truck in my lane. Yeah. And we're gonna put it on chill mode just so I don't have to worry about it crossing traffic. Um, but yeah, it's not unreasonable, but it's also not the best thing you can do. What it did this morning, just now, was really good. It um, stayed about 40 mile an hour, and um, it didn't have to slow down any um, to uh, get onto the highway. It didn't feel uncomfortable, an uncomfortable slowdown. Now, traditionally, what it should do it's just go 45, which is the speed limit of the road, and then slow down uh, at an appropriate time before the highway. Because you're not speeding up, then slowing down. That's the difference. So once it actually gets the correct speed, so instead of going 38 in a, tw uh, in a 45, it's going to go 45 in a 45, then it will work good. Okay, I had to press the accelerator because it was seemingly doing the overpass brake. But this is, remember, this is version 11. So this isn't really version 12 judgment here on the highway. Uh, the speed control is, whatever's, whatever's doing here is um, related. And I think that's what they fixed with the dot one release, is that instead of going seven over, it goes three over. So it, my guess is my complaint of it going like 20 over the speed limit in this 45 here got to them. At least probably not just me, but several people. So I'm. We're not going to try and get zero interventions on this drive, obviously. We have two so far because I'm changing lanes. But, um, yeah, think, I think it'll do good. The, the, there's only one spot that I'm expecting that it could mess up, and it, we'll see how it does. That's I haven't tried it on version 12 yet. This will be the first day I've tried it. So I slowed down. As you can see, there's a... fire person or something in front of me? I don't know. Besides, I don't think I should be passing them in this area. Uh, this is this is the type of thing that a robo taxi is just like, it has to get right. It, it just, it, it's not going to have those contextual clues. I'm like, hey, I see a, um, I see a um, car here that has lights on the top. Maybe that's a police car. Maybe I shouldn't speed. As a human, that, those are the thoughts that go through my head. I don't know if that you tell, tell me in the comments if that, those are the thoughts, thoughts that go through your head. Like, okay, we have a car that looks like it might be a police car. It looks like maybe someone that could pull me over, give me a ticket. Maybe I shouldn't speed. At least speed 15 over the speed limit. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe five over is fine and no one's gonna care. Usually most police cars do not care if you're going, going that fast. But also now that you get closer, it says area wide protected. This is like a this is a construction vehicle. This is not a um, 
not a police car or anyone that's going to pull you over. So, but still, until I could tell what it was, I just assumed the worst. And what? It cost me five seconds. Five seconds of time. It's not that big of a deal, guys. So now I can go up to 72 here. There uh, are usually sometimes, I don't normally drive 26 at this time, but usually this bridge coming up would be where some police cars would sit and catch people speeding. Again, if you look on the right here, these, these are the giant buildings that we looked at in the last video. That very potentially could be a Tesla service center. Let's see. I speculate what is that is literally as soon as I saw construction and they're clearing out and flattening out that field, I was like, huh, I wonder if a service center could go in there. Um, because, you know, there were rumors that they're trying to find a place and, you know, in the mountains is a lot harder to find real estate. And I, I just assume it would be close to the Asheville. And this is in between Asheville and Greenville uh, in Flat Rock, of course. And you just saw that sign. It said 28 miles to Asheville and 5 miles to Hendersonville. And it was just crazy to me that if that really is going to be in the service center, it's going to just... <laughs> the fact that it's going to be closer to me now than when I was living in Hendersonville or living in Boone. Like, it's so close. It's closer than any dealership if that's that's going to be it. So it's going to be great. Not that I... No, I've only been the service like two or three times, um, but not not that I really need service very often. But still, I think that'd be freaking amazing. Okay, so we're slowing down because of traffic in front, which is what we should be doing. Uh, my car is still set to the 72 speed limit. It should already be slowing down because it's approaching a construction zone. And then, more importantly, we're about to get off the exit. So we're on version 11. I do not expect this to be improved. I really wish it would be. See how this car has its blinker turned on? Mine should already be on. See how that got over? It doesn't need to get over quite that early, but it needs to get over earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and get send a snapshot. And it can spend all the time in the world uploading over LTE while I'm away. Um, but that needs to happen, Tesla. It needs to get over, like, that car in front of me got over. My car needs to do the same. Not necessarily, you know, quite as early. Maybe, like, a second later would have been great. But regardless, what he did, or she did, better than what my car did. Way better. Way safer. Safety is important. And it's safer to get off this exit as soon as possible. I'm not going to stop that until they actually do it correct. Maybe even if it takes me disengaging every time until they do it, maybe I will. So, it looks like auto wipers still have issues. My windshield is bone dry right now. Like, it's, it's, it's totally dry. And it's constantly wiping the windshield. It seems to do pretty good in the day. But at night, it is, um... Not doing well. Like, poor red is detected. It strictly goes off the, the wipers, which is really annoying. There's no weather right now. Which probably affects its behavior, how it behaves. I wonder if I can turn this off. Okay, so it does let you turn it off now. I, I saw someone mention that in the comments that you could turn off wipers now. I just hadn't tried it. So good. Because there's absolutely zero reason it needed the wipers on right now. Part I'm really interested here is how it's going to handle speed right here uh, going across this bridge. So we're on 40. As soon as you hit this bridge, it's now like 35. It, you no, know, it doesn't say it, but you go down to a 20 coming into town, so you're supposed to slow down. Unfortunately, we had cars in front of us, so I'm going to have to test this on a different day. But um, 
it's supposed to go down to 20 by about here and you're not supposed to be you know maybe 25 it can go to 25 in here but it shouldn't be going I've had it go 40 mile an hour in here before so it's just way way too fast let's see how it does on this turn so yeah turning the blinker on just a very very chill turn <laughs> that's a little bit too chill um i mean for a robo taxi it's fine so we got to think about when we're um so i'm trying to learn this but pay attention when i say things that i'm not i'm not always currently saying them in terms of like what's nice for robo taxi and what i prefer everyone's going to have their preference on what's what they think is best uh and then you have what's best for a robo taxi how fast is it gonna go really 30 and a 20 well the thing is most people drive that fast in this this spot right here that's just how people drive and school's not in session yet it is a wednesday okay so yeah they changed the i'm not sure if the map data has been updated but back behind the restaurant is where this light used to stop and now it stops up here which i think is a actually a really good improvement I used to have this whole intersection was like wide open, which is kind of weird when you think about it. But yeah, it was a good improvement to change this. But yeah, what I was saying earlier is about uh, robot taxi versus my preference. So my preference would be to go a little bit faster. The, for a robot taxi, if you're in the back seat, you know you're trying to use your phone, person beside me. Um, and all that stuff, you're not going to want to get sloshed around the back seat, so going a little bit slow is probably a good thing. I will admit that I'm probably not the best passenger carrier. That uh, I probably. It's a, yes, okay, is it going to follow what I do? Is it going to follow what I do? This is getting distracted, but this is the turn. No, oh, come on. I'm ha I had to press accelerate because I almost got rear-ended because of the car. I'm going to go press another snapshot button. So that was the, besides breaking out the blinking yellow, um, and almost, I probably almost getting rear-ended, um, that's, uh, that's the first time it's ever really done that well, like super, no, it's not, I can't call it super smoothly because it breaks the blinking yellow. If that was a green light, it probably would have done it fine. It wasn't the. It wasn't perfect. The room for improvement still, but that was, that was actually, way better than version eleven. Version eleven just kept on failing every time, and that's just the last several versions. Like even the version ten. Ironic. I don't know if there's irony or not, but the very first version, like version eight, or version seven point eight, or I don't. Know, the very early version of full self driving, was able to do that turn. Of course, there was no traffic around. It was like nine o'clock at night or something. So there was absolutely no traffic. I have video of it. I have proof. It was able to do it. Um, yeah, it's interesting how everything has changed since then. I'm glad it's going. Uh, that's this. Uh, I'm gonna. If it stays this fast, I'm disengage. Yeah, this this is ridiculous. So um, it's going ten over in this area. You should never go ten mile an hour over in this area. That's unacceptable. I bet the person behind me is getting really pissed off. They're starting, they're starting to tailgate me. <laughs> um, hopefully they read my uh, bumper sticker. It says uh, self-driving car testing. Um, I should have like one of those things attached to my roof rack. Car going too fast. It is going seven over. That is not acceptable in this area. So guys, I will disengage and that is very important. That is unacceptable to be going seven over on this road. Absolutely unacceptable. Pete's car sits, uh, I think we just passed the pizza place there. They sit in that lot. They sit in this church lot all the time on this road. I go five over, I think that's acceptable. But to go seven over is absolutely unacceptable on this road. So we're gonna get disengagements every single time. Until until they fix the speed control, it should not go seven over on this road. That was a model three we just passed. Like, 
Okay, that's gonna be a third disengagement, or maybe fourth, I don't know. That's unacceptable on this road. I'm just gonna drive manually until we get to the thing. I will not allow that. I'm not gonna allow it to speed seven plus mile an hour over on this road, unacceptable. Give it feedback. This was good. I got that going for us. Okay. Um, I guess we'll we'll go with the turtle lane. We'll see how it does here. As a bonus while I finish out the video. So guys, um, I wanted this to be a really good video. The speed lip, the speed control really screwed it up. I've never been on this front road until the, now with version 12, and it should not go that fast. Unacceptable to be going 11 over. 11 oh it went to 46 is a 35 mile an hour zone absolutely unacceptable to be going that fast and on that road that's that needs to be corrected i don't understand like they if for right now have a hard cap at like seven mile an hour over the speed limit um just have a hard cap um just have a built-in restriction otherwise the nths hsa is going to be like nope you have to stay the speed limit if they screw this up that actually did extremely well. I didn't even know. Wow, that was a bet. That was so well. I didn't even notice it. That, well, okay. That turn was way better than Cyberman. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, I'm going to manually drive the rest of the way. Um, that, um, it, it's, um, if they screwed that up and people see that it's going 11 over, 12 over, 20 over the speed limit with this auto speed control, the NTHSA is going to be like, nope, you have to go to speed limit, no matter what. You must go to speed limit. Whatever the speed limit says right here, you must not exceed. And that was gonna, that's gonna destroy everyone. You, we cannot allow that to happen. That will be miserable to use this software if it has to go exactly the speed limit and no more every single time. So guys, um, if you have questions for me, put them down below and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.